What's up, guys? You already know what it is, man. My name is JB Demogo, and this is Demogo V, where I keep it real, keep it 100. Everything that comes out of my mouth is the truth and nothing but the truth to help me, God. If today's your first time tuning in, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell button. Guess what? Uh, today, I want to talk to you about Mobad. Mobad, is that how you say it? May his soul rest in peace. My condolences goes out to his family. I'm going to be real. I didn't know this cat. I didn't, I, I didn't know him. I had never heard of him. So I just heard the news about his passing. And it's really sad. I just checked out a video uh, of him and Zlatan. And he seemed like a really good guy who had a great future ahead of him. It is sad that, you know, uh, his life is taken away. I don't know what's going on. I don't want to say that somebody killed him. You know, until the cops have done their job and I actually pointed out that this person killed them, I don't want to make any assumptions. I don't want to, you know, uh, say anything that will, um, you know, put someone's life in jeopardy. If the law finds him, you know, um, uh, responsible or accountable for his actions and after he's gone through whoever did it has gone through the, the court or the judiciary system, then yes, maybe we can say that, okay, he was found guilty, now he's the one that did it. But until then, I can't do anything about it. But this is what I have to say about this whole issue. I am fusing this topic into what's going on with Mobad because um, it is a topic that I had already decided to talk about that has to do with how artists in Africa kind of separate themselves from their... Um, uh, what do you call it, record labels. Now, um, in Ghana, we've had several artists in the past uh, decide to break contracts and step away from their contract. And the way they go about it is so bad. Some even just leave and, and don't even sit down with the artist, who, with the producer or executive producer who have invested in his artistry. So it is kind of... Um, it is, it is something that is very um, common in Ghana. A lot of artists um, have done that. And so many investors have decided not to even invest in artists anymore. So this is something that I actually wanted to talk about. Now, regarding Mobad, I've been hearing so many things. I guess he was with Naira Ma uh, Marley's uh, record label and he decided to you know, break away. I don't know if that's what, if his, his passing has anything to do with, you know, his separation or his, you know, departure from the label. But this is what I have to say. You see, um, in Africa, we don't honor contracts. We don't respect contracts. There are so many people who have talent. And during the time that they are going through the struggles, looking for someone to sign them, they, they act so humble and so you know they show so much humility by the moment they get a record deal and the name is buzzing they are everywhere and people start getting in their ears man you can get a better deal here and then your label is not doing anything for you now they decide that they want to slip away or they want to look elsewhere for help you know what i know that when when you are in need people tend to take advantage of you and the advice i'm about to give to the young guys coming up in the industry is that Tupac said, no matter the contract you get on your first deal, you will come out of it. But just make sure you have enough in your tank. Because when once your contract is up, it is up to you that you want it is up to you to step away from the contract or to re-sign with the same label. So if you sign a, a bad deal, you just have to write it out. Or if you don't want to write it out, just find a, a, a better way because before you sign the contract, you had to get your lawyer and the other label, the label got their lawyer, right? So it is only right that the two meet to, uh, um, to, ha to come to an understanding that, you know what, my artist is not happy about this. He wants to break away. He wants to, what is the damage? What do we have to pay? But the mistake that a lot of black people, or should I say, yeah, Africans, even in the hip-hop scene, we hear about it all the time. We always hear about P. Diddy um, cheating his artists and all that. But it's, it's contract. He gave you some peanuts, and you signed away your rights. You signed away your, your publishing. Now you come back around saying that, 
oh uh he shouldn't have been uh so cruel you didn't know you didn't know any better and he took advantage of you no good businessman will come and tell you that you know what this deal that you are you are signing is not going to help you every businessman is out there to make money so if they meet someone who is interested in peanuts and is willing to sell their publishing for just chump change they will take advantage of you so if you ever find yourself in such situations this is my advice to you either you write it out you wait till your contract is over or you just find a lawyer to sit down with the label one thing that i will say is that music is life it saves lives and it takes lives you have to be very careful some people you don't know how they made their money to start a record label so if someone decide to invest in you and you decide that oh i want to just leave i'm not interested in this label anymore i don't like the deal i don't guess what's going to happen that person might not take it lightly for example when tupac shakur was in jail at that time he needed someone to bail him out the only label that was out there willing to bail him out was death row yeah death row so he signed to death row according to uh people that were close to him he wasn't so happy being on death row but he was desperate at the moment and his his record deal was to you know release certain amount of um albums which he was on a roll he was he was trying to knock out those albums so that he can leave that's why tupac after his demise has so many songs written and recorded because he was trying to do what he was signed to do so that he can move on with his life and start his own record label so please please you see we don't normally hear white people have issues with their record labels if they do they write it out and then at the end of the day when the contract is over they move on with their lives but it is always we the black people we feel like oh someone has taken advantage of us and we are always talking to people trying to find other better deals by the time that you were suffering the time that you were struggling looking for a, rec a record label where were those people so my message to the youngins coming out is that you have to make sure the people you sign with sometimes you may sign with a crew because you feel like you'll be protected with that crew but the moment you mess up with that crew guess what's going to happen they will come against you so we have to be very careful the people that we engage with we have to be very careful when it comes to taking people's money like i said this music thing saves lives and it takes lives so if you take things for granted and feel like oh i can just leave i don't want to be here and it, yo no once you put your pen and once you you sign a contract is either you write it out or you find a lawyer to do everything the right way people don't joke with their money when you come to ghana we have so many artists who have really disappointed a lot of investors right now if you are an artist coming up and you're looking for an investor it will be very difficult for you in ghana very difficult because most of the investors are tired of investing they end up losing their money because at the end of the day within a year or two now the artist wants to bounce or within a year or two when when the artists get you know a little buzz and everybody's talking about them they want to leave now they now start an issue with the one who has invested in them if you end up meeting the wrong people guess what's going to happen they will take matters anyhow they want to take it and your life is too precious to put yourself in such predicament where you might end up losing your life there's so much speculation on what happened to um mobad i don't know if this is the case but i'm just using this you know the speculations that's going on to tie in with my topic my message to the people out there please if you are struggling looking for a record deal don't be too desperate to sign any record deal and if you are going to sign a record deal maybe you you need money to sort out your family and all that when you sign that deal and you feel comfortable 
please honor the deal honor the deal don't be don't be don't be don't be ungrateful if you sign the five-year deal just stick with it or find a good way a better way to do it to 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 break away from that contract you already know what it is man my name is jb demogu and this is the mogul view where i keep it real keep it 100 please make sure you subscribe to my channel all right have a wonderful night peace